Hello friends. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the videos. The Cadillac Escalade has long served as the brand's flagship, its huge size and aggressive looks broadcasting its extroverted, red-blooded American take on luxury. Despite being based on the same underpinnings as the Chevy Tahoe and Suburban and the GMC Yukon, the Escalade makes a solid case as a competitor to other large luxury SUVs like the Lincoln Navigator, Jeep Grand Wagoneer, and Mercedes-Benz GLS Class. That's because the big caddy features the brand's most advanced technology and most luxurious features. Its cabin is lined with wood, leather, designer fabrics, and satin-finished metals. A large, curved display sweeps across the dashboard, serving as both a gauge cluster and an infotainment center. A host of driver assistance features are available, including Cadillac's excellent Super Cruise system, which combines adaptive cruise control with a hands-free driving mode. Buyers can choose from a strong 6.2-liter gasoline V8 or a diesel-powered inline-six, and this year Cadillac adds a wild high-performance V-Series model with mega-horsepower to the Escalade lineup. Time will tell if the new Epo Escalade is an elephant that can dance, but given the brilliant athleticism of Cadillac's recent Blackwing-powered sedans, color us hopeful. This year marks the birth of the first V-Series Escalade. The high-performance Escalade V is likely to be powered by a 682-horsepower version of the supercharged 6.2-liter V8 engine borrowed from the 10 best award-winning CT5 V Blackwing sedan. It also rocks a menacing, blacked-out exterior appearance. The V model comes standard with all-wheel drive and sport six-piston Brembo performance brakes with red-painted calipers. The Escalade's air suspension has been retuned to enhance handling in the V model. The Escalade V will go on sale in the summer of 2022 and will sit atop the Cadillac lineup with a $149,990 starting price. Cadillac's biggest SUV is powered by a standard 6.2-liter V8 engine that makes 420 horsepower and can deactivate half of its cylinders when cruising to save fuel. A 3.0-liter diesel inline-six is also available. A 10-speed automatic transmission is standard with both engines, and buyers can choose from rear or all-wheel drive setups. As with its siblings, the current-generation Chevrolet Tahoe and Suburban and GMC Yukon, the Escalade rides on an independent rear suspension that provides additional third-row legroom, which was compromised in the previous solid rear axle model. Higher-end trims also offer an air suspension with adaptive dampers. At our test track, the long wheelbase Escalade ESV with the V8 engine sprinted to 60 miles per hour in just 5.9 seconds. The 277 horsepower diesel engine doesn't deliver nearly the straight line performance of the standard V8, but for some buyers that compromise is worth the improved fuel economy and punchy 460 pounds to foot of low end torque. For those Escalade fans with a need for speed, only the V will do. It's powered by a beastly supercharged 6.2 liter V8 making 682 horsepower which proved to be enough power to blast the big SUV to 60 miles per hour in just 4.3 seconds at our test track. During our initial test drive, we were impressed with the V8's power and its baritone burble. The modifications to the SUV's suspension make it handle better than the standard SUV, but the Escalade still doesn't feel as nimble as rivals such as the Mercedes-AMG GLS 63 or the BMW Alpina XB7. Rear-wheel drive Escalades are rated at 15 miles per gallon city, 20 miles per gallon highway, and 17 miles per gallon combined, adding all-wheel drive drops each of those numbers by 1 mile per gallon. The performance-oriented V model is far less efficient, earning EPA ratings of 11 miles per gallon city and 16 miles per gallon highway. Opting for the turbo diesel engine makes a big difference, with EPA estimates as high as 21 miles per gallon city and 27 miles per gallon highway. On our 75 mile per hour highway fuel economy test route, an all-wheel drive Escalade with the optional diesel engine returned 26 miles per gallon. Cadillac has tricked out the Escalade in the electronics department. The main showpiece is the digital dashboard, which is comprised of three curved OLED displays that layer on top of one another to create a cool 38 inches of combined digital real estate, some of which serve as the driver's gauge cluster while the rest projects the Q infotainment system for the driver and passenger. The collection of displays is reminiscent of the Mercedes-Benz GLS class's giant monolithic infotainment setup, but the Escalade stack setup creates depth and looks better integrated than the Benz's. Other tech features include an augmented reality navigation system and an available rear seat entertainment package that includes two 12.6-inch displays with streaming capability. Apple CarPlay slash Android Auto integration and a Wi-Fi hotspot are also standard. Audio feels will be in for a treat no matter which Escalade model they choose. Cadillac has partnered with Grammy award-winning audio and acoustics company AKG to develop the Escalade standard and optional sound systems. A 19-speaker studio sound system is standard on the luxury, 
sport, and premium luxury models, but platinum trims get the AKG Studio Reference System with a whopping 36 speakers.